Hey everybody, it's the Mobile Home Mama. We're looking at our next show home that I've got to show you guys for 2023. This is a 28 by 60, three bedroom, two bath. Notice on the outside, we did add a another Craftsman door that seems to be popular this year. Also, we did a dormer over the door with some white shake siding uh, surrounding the door that gives it some character. Also around the windows, notice we don't have any shutters out here. We did lineal trim in place of the shutters. So a nice shadow look for the color on the outside. And um, remember, we can switch these colors up to make them look, make your home look exactly how you would like it to. Uh, let's go inside and take a look. All right, standing inside the house, right away you're gonna notice how beautiful this home is, how bright, we've added a lot of lights in here. Of course, it comes standard with uh, many lights already, but we've added some can lights in here to, um, we wanted to be able to dim them for one, and it's just a nice feature that seems to be popular and trending right now, although I think that feature is here to stay. When you first walk in the door, you're gonna walk right into a closet. One of the things I get asked most, people wanna make sure they've got a walk-in, well, not a walk-in closet, but a coat closet right when they're walking into the foyer. Notice that we do have linoleum on the floor of the foyer. We wanna make sure if you have any snow or mud or anything on your shoes, you're not gonna damage your carpet. Speaking of the carpet, this is a Upgraded 25 ounce carpet in a grige color it's looking like. Now, let's start with the living room here, guys. I love how they did the windows. We've got a 46 by 61 in the, in the middle, and then on the outside, we've got 30 by 61s. These are gridded, and the grids are in between the panes of the glass. So don't worry, you don't have to take a paper towel and get every little nook and cranny of those grids. Boy, that was always a pain when I had to do that at home. Here we have added an optional entertainment wall. This is Ozark Shadow Hardwood Cabinets. And notice that we added into that entertainment wall, we've got our hookups ready for the TV, ethernet also. Lots of storage in here. This is a floating type of entertainment wall. And actually, my little three-year-old, when we come in here, he likes to hide under there, so. But it's nice because even if he's hiding, I can see him. He doesn't get away with it. <laughs> All right, going into, let's start with the dining room. Now we added a fog color on the walls. You can notice that it has a type of gray look to it. A little light gray, uh, nothing too dramatic. We wanted to be able to uh, make these cabinets pop, which are a hardwood Ozark shadow gray. So now over here, check this out. We do have an electric fireplace and look at the wall behind it. Surrounding it is a shiplap. Keep it in line with the floating vanities. We've got some more floating cabinets over here. And we took our ceramic backsplash and put that right into the wall. Another thing that you guys are gonna be able to choose if you um, would like to mix up your colors. We can mix up the backsplashes. We can mix up the cabinet colors. That's another thing we did. Notice that these cabinets here are white, but when you go into the kitchen, they're gray. But when you turn around and you're at the island, here it is white again. So another thing that we've done here, we've rounded off these countertops. That's called a crescent edging. It looks really great, but it's also got the benefit of being a safety feature. You don't have those sharp corners in case someone were to fall in your home. Now, 
This kitchen is called the Odyssey Kitchen because this home is part of our Odyssey series, home series. There are three different sizes in this series, a kind of a small, medium, large. This one is the 1600 square foot. But if you opt for this kitchen, boy, is it worth the money. You get a lot of really cool things, starting with the cooktop right into the counter. And that is an electric cooktop. We've got the farmhouse sink with the different accessories that go to that. And check this out, bringing back the wall oven. You remember grandma's wall oven. This is a more modern version, but same idea. You get the idea. Up above it, we've got a trimmed out microwave, trimmed in the stainless steel. Of course, the 21.2 cubic foot Whirlpool refrigerator coming in here. Now, we do have the cavity that is large enough that we would be able to fit the over under French door refrigerator. So that's an option as well. Ice and water in the door. Look at all this cabinet space in this island. And these drawers, wow. Pot and pan drawers. The largest pot and pan drawers we make, actually. A bank of drawers here. We've got storage below the oven. We've got storage here, a pantry here. We've got storage above, storage above. And showcasing all of this cabinetry in the kitchen, we've got some fixed windows. So those do not open or close, but they are very nice. As you can see out the window, we've got an RV manufacturer right beside us. We're in North Central Indiana and we are the manufactured home RV capital of the world. All right, over here, very large pantry. Let's see if I get a light in here. There it is. Over this way, we've got a coffee bar. So even more storage up here. With the adjustable shelving inside, we carried the backsplash over here and then more storage down here. On the floor, we've got a Nordic white linoleum of course, we've got drywall on the walls. We did a white hardwood trim here. Now, this is the second bath. This is bath two. We've trimmed out the mirrors. That's a nice feature. It doesn't cost very much either. We switched up the color of the backsplash. Remember I told you you could switch up the colors. You don't have to do that same thing throughout the entire house. You can switch it up. That's what we've done here. We did a 8 by 30 transom window above the tub shower, over the commode linen. Right across the hallway here is going to be bedrooms two and three. Nice, spacious bedroom, guys. Now, in the larger version of this house, we smack a den right in between these bedrooms. Going towards the side entrance of the house, we've got our panel box cover that's made out of hardwood as well. This is a 200 amp service home. Back in the utility room, we've got utility room cabinets. That's an option as well with the wire shelving to um, hold your extra laundry materials. Let's see what's going on down here. Oh water heater and in here is your furnace that could be electric or gas standard electric but lots of people like the gas look at this kitchen guys wow it looks so modern we didn't even really talk about this hood that's up here that does vent all the way out of the home and it's touchscreen
All right. Heading to the other end of the house is the closet of my dreams. This is the master bedroom closet. Master bedroom. Nice and spacious. Let me go stand in this corner and get a view from over here. There we go. And last but not least, the master bathroom. We've got a three-sided ceramic shower. I could also do a shower tower in there if you wanted your water to come at you from the side. We've got those beveled glass doors. We've seen that before. LED light up mirrors. We put transom windows over the mirrors. European style faucets with the square bowls. Behind there, we've seen this before. Some special cabinetry. You're gonna put your robes in the middle, stack the towels on the side. And here, a private commode. So, 2023, man, we're doing it good. Come check it out, take a tour with me. We can talk about things, talk about financing, we can help you with that. Talk about land prep. Talk about the entire process. I can show you how it's done and teach you and talk to you about what you need to do to get prepared for your champion home. Thanks for watching.